Okay, here we go. We're on the bike now. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. Welcome to yet another episode, episode two, season one. As promised uh, in our last episode, we're going to be reviewing the motorcycle, Bumbles, and let you know a little bit more about, about her. So, with that out being said, we are riding a 2010 Yamaha Super Tenere, uh, 1200cc, and um, starting from the bottom upwards, we're going to cover up what we've put on the bike and upgrade wise too. So tire wise, we are currently running the Hide in Our K60 Scout. Um, I checked this morning the. The mileage that we've got out of this set, we are already on 20,200. Yep, that's right, you heard me correct. 20,200 kilometers on this set of Heidenau uh, K60 tires, which is, which is good. It's a 50-50 tire, and um, the puncture resistance on these tires are amazing. Uh, we've had uh, zero punctures to date on this set of tires. And um, they are almost ready for replacement. So I think probably in another thousand odd Ks they're going to have to replace them because they are starting to wear a little bit too too low on the tr on the thread. Oh, sorry, on the treads. So we're going to be changing them. But absolutely amazing tyres. Uh, moving up from that, on the front end of the bike, we've got two Mad Rhino spotlights, LED spots. Um, those were what we put onto the bike when we uh, got ready to travel and so got LED light bulbs that's inside the bike's headlamps for extra brightness. Even though we don't travel that much at night time, it's great that if we do, which is on the occasion times that we have been caught out in the dark, that we've got enough light on the road So and also to be seen. So on the front of the bike, on the front of the headlamps is the headlamp protector cage. Uh, we put this on also to protect the headlamp optics from being smashed by flying rocks, debris, branches or whatever it is that's been thrown at the bike or whatever we strike. Um, so that protects the, the headlamps of the bike. Woo, wind is quite strong today. Then moving on to the control panels, on to the, 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 the controls, we have got heated grips, it's the Oxford heated grips. Again, uh, I'm busy putting them on. Value for money. These guys keep your hands nice and warm, especially in the cold winter months when I'm busy commuting to and from work in the, the, the cold temperatures. We rode through Sabi on the way back um, on our Africa trip and we went through minus three degrees and then of course the wind chill effect on top of that was ice, ice cold. So I let Cal know as soon as I get home I'm going to look into investing uh, into some heated grips which I have done and they are on the bike, they have been installed and worth every, every, every penny. So another accessory that we've put on the motorcycle is the TPMS, the Tire Pressure Monitoring System. And uh, it's always good to know with the bike when it's so heavy that um, we know what our tires are doing at all times. It also tells you the temperatures of the tires and then also of course the pressure of the tires. So that was a, a one of the good upgrades. It's just peace of mind on uh, knowing what your tires are doing while traveling. Then we've got navigation. Our navigation system, we are currently using the Garmin Sumo 360. It's loaded with uh, Tracks for Africa maps. Um, Kel does a lot of her navigation and tells me which way to go, but we just check on the, the Garmin to make sure we're on the right path and going in the right direction. But Kel's navigation skills are, are good, so we don't... Um, I just need to slow down, it's wet. So we just need to make sure with uh, the navigation that we are headed in the right direction. Uh, following on that, we have got um, the front of the bike. We use a extreme 20 liter Givy tank bag. And that's where we put all our electronics and also our uh, power station or power supply into it while we're riding. And that is also charged with the cigarette lights on the front. That's all stacked standard. The cigarette lights are stock standard with the Yamaha Super Tenere. 
Um, luggage wise, we carry and we use the Turkana Hippo Hips, uh, soft luggage, but we will do another video later on with all our gear and how we pack the bike for, for long distance traveling. So we'll cover that in the next, in one of uh, the upcoming episodes. Another upgrade, major upgrade that we did to the bike was putting in a softer rear spring. Uh, the spring that we had on the bike originally was, uh, I think with the original spring, which uh, was a little bit too soft. And I also noticed one day that there was a bit of oil dripping from the bottom of the motorcycle. Uh, so I took the bike into MP suspension here in Cape Town and had the spring upgraded to allow us to take heavier loads and uh, also make the ride a lot more comfortable. Kel says, um, and I can also feel it with the bike fully loaded, we are way, way more comfortable than we used to be on the bike with uh, the red spring. Um, moving on to that, we also had the uh, the service, the, the suspension service. So obviously they, they did what they needed to do for this uh, suspension service but uh, it's one of the upgrades that we did to the bike. Another mechanical upgrade that we did was putting in a 2014 clutch basket, Yamaha Super Tenere clutch basket, the upgraded or the, the upgraded version of it, and then also replaced the, uh, also upgraded the, the clutch, clutch plates. And then um, another engine modification that had to be done was of course, uh, the cam chain and tensioner and that was done with the, the valve timings and everything too in the bike that was required other than that guys that is the whole modification of the motorcycle um the stuff that we've put onto the bike to uh, get us to our destinations on the bike um, everything else on the bike is pretty much stock standard there's nothing else that's been changed on the motorcycle um, but with that being said, we also, or I do a lot of the uh, regular required maintenance services, such as changing the oils, the air filter. Okay, the air filter, sorry, is also another mod um, upgrade that we did. We're putting in, or there is a BMC air filter currently inside uh, the air box. So that replaces the normal stock standard uh, paper, paper air filter. So this one's washable. So when it gets dirty or whatever, and also with our maintenances, I take it out, wash it with the BMC uh, air filter replenishment or rejuvenation kit and uh, put it back into the bike so that's also another one so also with that like i said i do the regular maintenance on the motorcycle uh, the oil that we prefer to use is ravenol oil and coolant and also ravenol oil for the uh, uh, the final drive of the motorcycle and then like i said uh, that is pretty much stock standard yamaha super tenere um, following on that, we will, if you've got any questions, you're more than welcome to leave it in the comment section below. Uh, let us know what motorbike that you, or what brand of motorbike you ride. And um, be glad, it would be nice to hear from you guys. Also, um, protection wise, sorry, also another thing that's on the motorcycle is the Rumbux bars, crash bars, and also belly plates. Uh, this provides amazing, uh, protection of the motorcycle we have fallen over a few times and these bars protect the motorcycle as intended so rumbux protection bars crash bars are on the motorcycle too Ooh, it's a bit rainy today nice cold wet weather here in cape town <laughs> but anyway guys that is um that is pretty much in a nutshell on what we use what we've upgraded on the motorcycle so um the next episode coming up soon uh, might be on or off the bike I'm not too sure yet what what adventures we're going to be doing got to um, but yeah again please if you have liked and subscribed thank you very much welcome to the back of beyond if not please consider smashing that like button the subscribe button don't forget the bell notification so that you are notified of any the uploads that we've done to youtube and of course with that being said we will see you guys in the next episode